Hey, hello there. Thanks for tuning in. So I just got my technician's license a week ago. Yes. And then this bad boy arrived in the mail. I don't know how it came. I don't know who ordered it. It just showed up. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I got this set up with a repeater over here and made my first QSO. So this video is mainly about how I got it set up. It was a bit of a struggle for me. The manual was of no use, and uh, I used a few Baofeng videos out there. There's nothing really too much of a beginner video for an Alenko. So that's why I thought maybe this will help some people. And if you're one of those experienced hams, do stick around. I would like to hear your feedback as to what I could have done better. better. So the other thing I want to do in this video is compare this to a few of the Yesus and discuss the criteria I used to buy this. So let's get started. So here is the manual that you get with the radio, but it's of course not of much use in operating it. Uh, you gotta go download the manual from the Alinko website. Uh, link is in the description below. That manual should help you a lot, though it's not very beginner friendly. So let's set this up so we can have some fun with it. So it, you see the display here has two different sections. Uh, this is section A, section B, they also call it channel A, channel B, uh, main channel, sub channel. Uh, the main one is the one that's bigger and the sub is the smaller. But, and you can have two different frequencies on them. That It is a dual watch radio, it watches both. So the first thing I would like to do is you see that the main channel is set up to channel 7 over here, and there's a frequency. And the sub-channel is set up to be a VFO. What I can do is the PF1 key here, give it a long press, and the main channel also switches to a VFO. So both sections A and B are now on VFO, which means I can actually adjust them with my knob here, and also do hard adjustments with this. And, or I could actually type in the frequency I want. So 4460000. One more. There you go. Now, if I wanted to switch to section B, I would simply give a quick press to the PF1 key. There you go. So in section B, I would like to do 1465200. And that's the national calling frequencies for 2 meter band, 70 centimeter band. And I could just listen on this, see if anyone's talking. There's another feature that I would like to talk to you about here, and that's scanning. You go in there, and you start the scan. So there you go, it starts the scan. And if it finds some conversation going on somewhere, it'll stop. So you can listen to that. So that's a fun way to go around listening to what's going around, listen to some repeaters that you don't even know about. There you go. Let's go ahead and stop the scan. So that's some fun stuff you can do while you're still waiting for your license. You're not really transmitting. And you'll notice that I put them both on VFOs because that's that way they're both analog and it's simple. I'm not doing any fancy stuff with channels or anything like that. Also, another thing I did is if you do accidentally press the push to talk key, you see there's TX prohibit. I have set it up so that I do not accidentally transmit. And that's useful, so if you're still waiting for your license, you're still uh, waiting to get the hang of it. And I've done the same for section A. Switch to section A. TX prohibit. And these settings, the TX prohibit setting is not a radio wide setting. You got to do it for every channel or every section you're on. So let me talk about uh, the concepts of the menu settings here for a bit. So you go under menu, you go into settings, and you see the two main ones radio settings and channel settings. So in radio settings, you have device level things like how soon your device turns off, the off timer, your microphone volume level, your voice activation on or off, backlight, and time zone, quite a few other things, but all for the entire device, they're not for a channel. 
And when you go into the channel settings, you get settings specific to that channel. And uh, those could be like switching the channel between digital and analog, uh, setting that TX prohibit uh, feature that I just showed you, the tr transmission power, uh, that's you got four different levels of power that you can use. Uh, there's uh, different frequencies to receive and transmit. Like if you're working with a repeater and you do not want to use offsets, uh, you can use that or satellites maybe. Uh, the bandwidth settings, wide or narrow, and there's a whole bunch of channel settings. And they are all different between analog and digital. I'm mostly focusing on analog here. And there's, there's a whole bunch of settings that you can explore in there. I'm just showing you a few popular ones here. And so once again, if you wanted to move around between the channel mode and the VFO mode, you would just short, uh, sorry, long press the PF1 key here. So here you're back to channel mode and you switch channels this way with this knob here. Go back to channel seven and then again back to VFO mode. Now, in VFO mode, as I showed you, the transmission is prohibited. If you want to set up the transmission to be allowed, you would have to go into menu, you would have to go into settings, and you would have to go to channel settings. Mind you, you're not in channel mode right now, but you still need to go to the channel settings because that is kind of considered channel. The VFO A is a, the A channel and the VFO B is the B channel. So you go in here and scroll all the way down to TX prohibit. There you go. And you can set the prohibition off. You would do the same for VFOB. And again, it's on a per channel basis. Now, of course, uh, once you got your uh, license and you try to make a few contacts over these frequencies, uh, the basic uh, national calling frequencies, uh, you may not get a whole lot because uh, the simplex frequencies are not that, uh, at least in my area, there doesn't seem to be much traffic on them. You would need to set up a repeater. So let's walk through those steps. I will switch it to channel mode now. And I'm just gonna pick channel seven as it is right now. Instead of adding a new channel, I'll just modify channel seven with the frequencies for my repeater that I've got written down over here. So with channel seven as a selected channel, as the main channel right now, let's go into menu. A lot more settings here now that we are in uh, some kind of a digital mode in that channel. Settings, channel set. First thing I gotta do is make this an analog channel. And that changes the menu settings that you see. The next thing I would do is set up the transmit and receive frequencies. Let's go back real quick. So let's do the receive first. Delete to clear that. One, four, six, six, seven, zero, 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 zero. Sorry, too many zeros. One, four, six, six, seven, zero, 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 and then confirm. Success. Now, it's a little tricky here. There's no back button to go back to your menu settings. So you gotta do delete, and it seems to delete your frequency, but it has not. And then you get the back button. You're back into your menu. Just to check, there's one, four, six, six, seven, zero, zero. That's our repeater frequency. And we do the same trick to go back to your menu. Transmit is, Delete this, one, four, six, zero, seven, zero, 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 confirm. All right, we got the transmit and receive set up. Now we gotta set up the PL tone. Our repeater has got a PL tone of 146.2. And the PL tone is another term for uh, CTCSS. So here's the setting for that, TCDT. Uh, the T stands for transmit. So that's all we want to do. It's set to off. You want to set it to CTC for CTCSS. And our PL tone is 146.2. Set it up. So there we are. We are good to go for that repeater. Uh, the only other thing I need to do is, oh, there you go, he's here. 
the Morse code CW coming in from the repeater. Somebody might must have just uh, uh, chunked it, as they call it. So I could just sit in here and listen to the repeater, and that's what you want to do for a while. Uh, listen in, make sure no one's talking, and once you're ready to transmit, you have your push to talk key. Push that, wait a few seconds for the repeater to wake up, and announce yourself with your call sign and see if someone responds. Yep. And hopefully you get your first QSO. So you see something called a zone here, zone one. So a quick word on zones and my understanding of the concept and my understanding is still evolving, mind you. So you can have multiple zones where you can group your channels. So as you keep making more channels in there, but you got to put them in different zones so they're organized. So you could have one zone for all your home channels and a zone two for, say, when you're visiting your parents or going somewhere else, and they're all organized that way. So you don't have a whole bunch of channels uh, that you have to scroll through and or you're scanning through. So next, I uh, would like to move on to a quick discussion on why I chose the uh, Alinko MD5 XTG over the others I looked at. Uh, the Yesus I looked at, seem nice, especially the Yesu FT70R, feature-wise, uh, it's got everything I really want, and at a lower, slightly lower price point, but it did not have APRS, so that was a deal breaker for me. I did consider the Yesu 65R, uh, and uh, I thought it would be a good start of radio, get started, and then buy something else, but ultimately I decided I would spend a little extra to have something which I will keep exploring and growing into, have features to explore and all that. So that, that's how I ended up with the uh, uh, DJ MD5 XTG. But if you don't care about APRS, looks like the Yesu FT70R is a pretty good deal. Uh, it doesn't have DMR, it has the Yesu System Fusion, and that's probably fine for uh, depending on where you are and what you want to do. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you found it useful, would appreciate a like and a subscribe. Uh, do leave your feedback in the comments below, and I'll try my best to respond. Thanks, and see you in the next video. Bye.